اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session I'm going to talk about how to write literature when there is hardly any literature available. For example, let's say you want to establish a relationship or you want to write about the relationship of X with Y. But this relationship hasn't been tested before. Now there is no literature available as to how X can influence Y. There is no literature on how to develop this relationship. How will you explain this relationship? Now in such situation, what needs to be done? Now before you start writing your literature, the first and foremost is that you should know the definition of the concepts. So your step one, the first thing that you need to do is you need to understand the concepts you need to understand the conceptualization you need to understand what is x what is y how is x defined in the literature how is y defined in the literature Now once you know these definitions the next step is that you'd identify the key characteristics in each of the concept what are the key characteristics of x what are the key characteristics of y now with the definitions in front of you you can clearly single out the keywords from those definitions and with those keywords singled out you will understand these concepts better Now once you understand these concepts better you can easily link the two concepts Now how do we do this linkage Now again we have said that okay there is no literature available on how these two concepts are linked or there hasn't been any previous research on linking the two concepts So the step 1 could be let's say what is our step 1 Our step 1 is search for any theory let's say we search for theory now is there a theory available that can help you link these two concepts now how do you search for theory so what theory has been used when this particular variable has been studied in the literature or what theory has been used when this particular variable has been studied in the literature for that you can go into existing research like the papers that have been written on these two variables and then you can also use google scholar to search for theories with respect to this particular concept and this particular concept obviously since both of them have not been studied together you will have to search theory separately with each of these concepts now once you search for theory read the theory Now that you know the conceptualization the theory will help you materialize or put in writing how x could be related to y in light of that particular theory For example let's say I'm studying a concept of servant leadership and this concept is influencing let's say humility Now when I searched the literature on google scholar or maybe other databases there was no research on how servant leadership influences humility but i can see that yes if there is servant leadership my employees would be more humble so i look into this concept of servant leadership as to what is servant leadership and identify the different concepts or characteristics or traits of servant leadership so a servant leadership builds a relationship he focuses on growth of others he develops others he is humble he is honest he is ethical and what is humility so your employees are ethical they are humble they are down to earth they are trustworthy now once i know these characteristics let's see i search for theory And while I'm searching for theory, I look into the literature and I come up with this theory that is 
सोशल लर्निंग थीरी नो वेन आई स्टार्ट रीडिंग अबाउट दिस थीरी दिस थीरी शोज दैट employees learn from their leaders so a, an employee who is humble may have learned this characteristic from its leader because your leader is humble so is your employee now this theory can help me explain this relationship now furthermore apart from this or searching the theory to explain the relationship one can look into other ways as well now let's look at those steps now once you have looked into existing research and maybe you have found a theory to link the two concepts there could be other steps that can be utilized maybe you didn't find a theory that could have linked the two concepts what to do then so your step 1 obviously that was mainly not particularly successful let's say you failed to establish the relationship between servant leadership and humility based on existing literature so there was no literature available so what is your step 2 once you have identified the characteristics of servant leadership that is these are the characteristics of servant leadership he is humble he builds a relationship he is focused on the growth of its uh, followers and all those characteristics so what you can do is you can link these characteristics with the endogenous variable here the dependent variable so this can help you explain how servant leadership can influence humility let's say if you fail to link any of these characteristics with the endogenous variable the other step could be let's say step 3 servant leadership let's put humility let's say you identified the characteristics of servant leadership and you identified this characteristics of humility so what you can do is you can link the characteristics of servant leadership with the characteristics of humility so instead of linking these characteristics that you failed earlier maybe you were able to link these characteristics so you should step 3 or rather step this was step 2 let's name it step 2 now step 3 does not mean that you cannot follow step 2 you you can follow both of these steps now let's say you failed to link the concept of servant leadership with the characteristics of humility so what you can do is let's say you've got servant leadership and you've got humility now what you can do is you can link the characteristics with each other now instead of linking the main concepts you can link the characteristics of one concept with the characteristics of the other concept in in order to establish how one particular concept may influence the other particular concept so this is how you can develop your arguments you can develop your literature review for hypothesis if you do not have any existing literature i hope the session would have helped you understand how to link different concepts for literature review thank you very much